So this is uh, Let's Talk World Conference Singapore 2022. This is second half of second day and we have Mr. Somesh Tiwari, Managing Partner at Vardharma Chambers with us. He has uh, attended the previous two conferences as well. Uh, uh, his attendance has been in Dubai so far, but we're really extremely happy that he is here with us in this beautiful city of Singapore. So without any further ado, let me just introduce you to Mr. Tiwari. Hello Mr. Tiwari, how are you? Uh, feeling great. Uh, it's been a wonderful two-day conference, a great event organized uh, by Lex Talk. Uh, every, so this is the third time I'm here, as you've mentioned, and I, I, I've always felt that, you know, Lex Talk, it's, it's a great place to synergize, meet people, like-minded people, have those discussions, and, and we always get a great time networking with, with you know, individuals across different, different jurisdictions, different countries. And it's always been a very great uh, experience, so that's why we keep coming back. That's great, and I'm really, really happy to hear that feedback. Uh, so, how is the day going so far? You have attended day one as well. So, what is your feedback? Um, the day has been going fantastically well. We had a panel, and I, I, I had some of some of the most uh, amazing people on the panel. Uh, where you know they are doyens of their their in respective areas of practice, uh, in house uh, tax uh, and otherwise uh, you know plays out of Singapore and of course in India. And uh, everything has been fantastic. I really loved the discussion, though. It was very, it was very fun. I got a lot of reviews outside, also that it was very fun, very engaging. I think our panel got, I think, most questions. Uh, I, uh, but I thought we could, we could go on a little more longer. But because just before lunch hour, we didn't want to push it. So uh, I think uh, one of the best uh, panel discussions that I have done. I think even Dubai was very, very good. I, I, you were there, of course. You, you know that Dubai was very, very good. But even in Singapore, I think it was fantastic. I really liked it. That is amazing, and yes, uh, as he rightly mentioned, uh, his uh, panel discussion was the most engaging one. Uh, and we're really short on time as well, he, that he's not mentioning, but I would like to bring it to the notice. Uh, people were really talking about it, but thank you so much that you were, uh, that you were a part of it and you moderated the session quite nicely. Um, moving on uh, to your views uh, on something similar that we talked about in the panel discussion. Uh, what are your views on the emerging trends uh, on cross-border and uh, ADR? So we, I think we dealt with this on the panel uh, quite extensively, and and we had because I, I that's what I see that you know so many people from different different parts uh, you know different jurisdictions came together and shared their views, and and I was really you know it was surprised to see that most of the views were you know you in sync with each other, and they, we we understood that. So uh, what I thought was my you know what my perspective was for emerging views in cross border was that uh, I see that there is a massive you know um, uh, you know sort of upscale that I can see. Uh, going uh, from from a traditional way of how do you conduct ADRs into ODRs, so online dispute resolution system. Um, uh, and I was really so. For example, when I was coming here, I was reading about it, and there was a, some stats that was that that stuck out. Uh, I, I read that about 86% of personal injury cases in the U.S. were solved by ODR, and 66% success rate came on uh, the first 30 days. Well, according to me, that's unheard of. And, um, and, you know, what I feel is that, you know, technology is going to take up uh, a very, you know, important part of how uh, dispute resolution works in the future. Uh, and a large part of that will happen through ODR because all the pleadings, every all the documents have been filed, you know, beforehand. There's a, of course, there's talk of now, uh, in fact, uh, this is something that we missed on the panel. There's not talk of introducing AI and artificial learning. Uh, in the preliminary stages of the ADR to get the documents collated, get everything sorted, uh, the pleading sorted and done, so that once you get on with the hearings, you can't, you know, you can't, uh, you know, there's no time to waste, right? Because arbitration has to be done in a particular manner, in a time frame. So I think that works out pretty well. And ultimately, I'm a proponent of, uh, you know, when I advise my clients, I'm a proponent of doing a cost benefit analysis, understanding how much you're going to be spending on the arbitration, how much, how much uh, you know, you're getting out of it. Of course, in the negotiation, you can't enter and say like, I will get what I want. But uh, with that being said, you do an analysis beforehand and get in with, uh, you know, with the ODR system. And I think that's going to be uh, something very big in the future. And that I find to be an emerging trend right now. Thank you. Thank you so much for answering that question, Somesh. Uh, but I would also like to ask, uh, the stats that you mentioned were uh, about US, right? Yeah. They were the US stats. And 
what do you feel uh, when it comes to India? I would like to know that. Oh, so so the Niti Aayog is this Indian think tank uh, that that published those stats. Uh, in fact, uh, I I would see there's no specific stats to be published on this specifically to Indian perspective. However, I I feel that um, how quickly the Indian judicial system appoint uh, you know acclimatized itself with the VC mechanism during COVID. I think once ODR starts picking up and it will be the most wonderful thing because you can appoint and you you can do arbitration in different jurisdiction, different states, different provinces. It becomes easier easier much faster to take care of things. So I think uh, it's a slow burning fire. However, the minute it, it takes off, it's going to be huge. It's going to be very, very big in the future. Okay, so actually I was coming to that. I was not uh, kind of referring to the stats in India, but where do you see this particular thing? Basically ODR, so which you refer to as the slow burning fire, yes. right, in India. So that's uh, what I was coming to. So thank you so much, Somesh. Uh, before I let you go, can you please also talk about your uh, law firm? Uh, you're the managing partner. How is everything going? Uh, at that end and if you would like to kind of throw light um, on your vision for uh, let's say next five years down the line. So I've been in Singapore for the past two days and like any managing partner uh, I have 30 tabs open in my head right now as to what's going on in India. I keep on making calls. Uh, I'm, I'm on the call every time I'm doing meetings here. But uh, as so for Dharma Chambers is, is mainly located in Delhi. We have associated offices across India and we do a lot of uh, cross-border transaction advisory. We do ADR, litigation. A huge chunk of what I do is litigation practice. And we are, we are based out of Delhi. We have our, our, our major area of practice of high court and supreme court litigation divided with, between two teams. And I had the ADR and cross-border transaction advisory myself. And um, that's what, and if you ask me what's going on with every, how is everything going right now, I think fantastically well. But, uh, you know, I'm, I'm, a, I'm a worried, uh, you know, duck mother who is outside thinking about what's going on over there, thinking constantly about, you know, what matters I've listed today in the court, who's going there, who's going what. So in, in that sphere of thing, I think that's the, that's the tension that will always happen. But uh, it's, it's the part, and I really love it. That's the adrenaline, that's the high that you get from, from doing litigation practice. And yeah, everything's fantastic according to me. Thank you. Thank you so much, Somesh, you. for so much. talking to us. And uh, hopefully we'll see Somesh in all of our conferences, upcoming conferences as well. So this is Bharti, and this is Somesh signing off. Take care. Bye-bye.